Hey guys, Alpha here and welcome to the list of top 10 mods for November of 2018. In this video we will take a look at a list of 10 mods that I have been using this month. All the mods are compatible with the latest 1.33 update. If you have any problems with them just leave a comment and I will try to help you. Now this month has been a bit weird for ETS2. We got a new 1.33 update in the middle of the month. So some mods made for 1.32 might not work. It was quite hard finding 10 mods that are good enough to get a spot on the video, so some mods might be a bit older and I might also just include some skin mods that I think look really good. Now before we get started with the video, I want to remind you guys that the channel has a new partner called Gamesplanet. Gamesplanet is a website where you can buy PC, Mac and Linux games safely, legally and for good prices. I will leave a link in the description. If you want to support the channel and get some awesome deals on games, I would really appreciate if you used my link for it. The Crown DLC skin pack made by Kristoff. It includes 50 skins for the purchasable Crown DLC trailers. There are 20 skins for the Profiliner trailer, which also work with the Double trailer. 20 skins for Cool Liner as well as 10 skins for the Dry Liner trailer. The skins include many well-known companies in Europe, for example Bring and Eddie Stobart, but there are also many skins for other companies, maybe I just haven't heard about them, but it seems like there are skins for some smaller French and Dutch companies. All the skins are really well made, I did not see any problems with them. They are high quality and look really nice on the trailers. There were not many new mods that I thought were good enough to include in this video, so most of the mods I will talk about are just updates for well-known mods that, in my opinion, deserve a spot on the video. With that being said, this is the DAF XF105 mod made by Vad and K. The mod version is 6.3 and the latest update includes optimization for 1.33 patch of the game, some new customization updates as well as reworks and bug fixes. This is probably the best DAF XF105 mod made for the game. The European interiors are completely remade, a lot of new parts have been added and the textures have been upgraded. The exterior model is remade as well. There is support for all the different DLCs like the DAF tuning pack and cabin accessories. The customization in this mod is substantially better than with the normal SES truck which the mod also replaces and there are many new chassis and cabin options. This month we also got a new update for the Akiri trailers made by Cast. As I say every time I talk about this mod, this is without a doubt the best trailer mod for the game. It includes 19 different variants of the Ikiri trailers, real company skins, double trailers and in the latest patch the trailers are also available for purchase. Some of the variants include standard, steer axle and CD trailers. There is also an add-on for this mod which includes 24 variants of Ikiri tandem trailers. Both semi-trailers and trailers with different lengths and heights are available for purchase. As is the case with the main mod, all the trailers have the same amount of customization. This is the Saisu M series truck, as seen in the awesome game called My Summer Car. It is a standalone truck available from the Scania dealership and all the models are 100% original, made by XPS. This truck is made for the latest 1.33 patch. It includes two different types of cabins as well as three chassis options, five different engines and three transmissions. 
There is quite a lot of customization for it, things like painted parts, various lights and signs, as well as some interesting parts for the interior. In real life, this truck was in production between 1969 and 1984 and was made in Finland. It is an older truck, so the driving experience is quite unique. I think everyone should try it for themselves, no matter what trucks you normally drive. With such an old and bare bones truck, the driving experience is extremely immersive. It's hard to explain that in the video, so you just have to try it for yourself and I think everyone will have fun with it. If you want to make your game look realistic, this is the best mod for it. It's called Realistic Lighting 2 and includes a graphics mod as well as reshade and sweet effects presets. If you don't know how to install reshade or sweet effects, I do have a tutorial on it, you're gonna find it from the video description. This mod has been around for quite a while, but in the last few updates they have added new shaders and made the filters look a bit better. I myself have been using reshade for over a year now and it really does make a huge difference, so I think everyone should at least try it. If you don't like it, you can disable it anytime by pressing insert on the keyboard. You can also use the reshade preset for other games such as spin tires and firing simulator, so definitely check it out. If you like driving low deck trucks, this trailer is the newest and one of the best mods for you. It's the Crown Cool Liner Mega Trailer. The mod is working fine on 1.33 version of the game. It is a 3 meter high Crown Low Deck Trailer. In this mod, the stickers on the side and the reflective stripes are removable. There are quite a lot of new rear bumpers as well as new templates for skins. As for other customization, it is just like the normal Chrome DLC trailers. Currently, the advanced coupling is not working, but I would imagine this will be fixed in a new update. There is also a similar mod for the Chrome Profi Liner trailer, so if you want to use that, I will include the link for that in the description as well. The base model is from the Chrome DLC, so the trailer looks amazing. You do need a low tech truck for this trailer as well, so I will leave some mods for that in the description. 50k add-ons. Now this mod is quite old, the last update was in May, but I just recently started using it again and I haven't seen many people use it, so I thought it deserved this spot on the video. This mod comes with different Kelsa light bars as well as some new accessories like lights, light boards and beacons. You can also choose a variant that has no light bars and just put lights directly on the truck. You can change the light box texture as well, the mod has been done really well and can make your truck look beautiful, so if you haven't, definitely download this mod. As I said at the start of the video, there were not that many new mods this month, so the last three mods will be skins for different trucks. This is the Lechner paint job artwork made for the new generation Scania. It's a 8K resolution skin with metallic color and has two different variants. One has a metallic stripe with an V8 logo going over the cab and the other has just a textured stripe. On both variants you can change the colors to your liking, so if you think the skin looks nice, definitely try it. This is another skin for the Neo Scanias, it's the light blue Griffin skin and works on both the S and R series Scanias. It is a metallic skin that has Scania logos on the side. The mod also has a texture for 50k light board and a wheel pack that I will link in the description. I really like the color of the skins, so if you want your truck to look unique, this is a really nice skin for you. Now 
the last skin is made for the Eugene Volvo. So if you don't have the truck, you really should. It's an awesome mod and I will link it in the description. This is a TKJ transport skin made for the Globetrotter XL cabin. It is a metallic skin and it just looks really cool. So if you like the company or maybe you just like how the skin looks, then definitely check it out. So thanks for watching this month's video, I really do hope you found some new mods. As I said multiple times in the video, there were not that many new mods coming out this month, so it was a bit difficult to make this video, but I still hope you found some new mods for you. Now if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like rating and subscribe, and if you want to support my channel, I will have a link in the description for a website where you can buy games. That's gamesplanet.com. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video.